What's up guys, Steve here with your second stimulus check and stimulus package update as of today, Sunday, September the 27th. And I'm here to let you know that you can expect to receive that second stimulus check in the month of October, and you can expect to receive it in one of two ways, and we're gonna be finding out which way you're gonna be receiving it in the next three days. So, I know I have a handful of viewers that leave down in the comments occasionally, Congress doesn't care about us. They're not gonna give us any aid anytime soon. We're all just gonna die. Well, I completely understand your frustration and totally understand how you can become jaded as we've been waiting for months for Congress to provide something in the form of stimulus. But I'm here to let you know, do not lose the faith. I do believe we are very, very close. I've heard it said in the past that sometimes there were gold diggers searching for gold and they stopped literally a foot away from striking gold because they gave up too soon. And I believe we are so close. And I'm gonna tell you why here in this video. I'm going to give you all the details, get you caught up, and why I believe we're going to be seeing checks here and we're going to be finding out more about them this week. So I'm going to get you all caught up in that. And if you like that, if you could do me a quick favor, it'll just take a second. I would appreciate it. Ever so gently brush that like button so it can turn blue. I would appreciate it. YouTube channel success is pretty much based on interaction. So when you brush the like button and you leave comments, it helps out my channel. Thank you so much. And also, if you like to keep getting these video updates, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that way every time I upload, you can stay notified. And also be sure to follow me on Instagram if you don't already at steveram3. So as I mentioned, there's one of two ways. So let's discuss the first way. So if you haven't heard already, Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin and Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi have come back together and at this moment they are at the negotiating table getting ready to work on a new stimulus package that will be released by Nancy Pelosi. Now, this is an entirely new stimulus package. This is not the HEALS Act, the Problem Solvers Caucus uh, proposal, or the HEROES Act. This is an entirely brand new one. And it is expected though that this will be a smaller modified version similar to what we saw in the HEROES Act since Nancy Pelosi is putting it together. It is also expected that this will be a $2.4 trillion stimulus package in total of stimulus and you are expected to receive stimulus checks, enhanced unemployment, PPP funding, and all of the provisions that we have been waiting for. So essentially this could be the first way that we're gonna be seeing stimulus checks is in this stimulus package. And I'd say there's probably about a 50-50% chance that we're gonna be seeing them through this method. And we're gonna be finding out here before October 1st of 2020, and here is why. So as I mentioned in previous videos, a lot of members of Congress right now are very eager to see a stimulus package passed because we are entering elections and a lot of people's seats right now are up for re-election and they're not feeling very comfortable about it because they're not sure if they're going to get re-elected because they're going to be going out and asking for re-election when there's been no stimulus package provisions provided. They're gonna be going on recess, going back out to campaign saying reelect me and nobody wants to do that when there's been no stimulus provided during a economic crisis during the middle of a pandemic. And right now, one third of the Senate is up for reelection and pretty much the entire House of Representatives is also up for re-election. So there is a lot of emphasis from Congress to get something done. And right now there's actually a lot of members of Congress that are blaming Nancy Pelosi for the lack of stimulus and for negotiations falling apart. Now I have seen in the comments, there are a handful of viewers that are saying, Steve, you're just bashing Nancy Pelosi. But listen, I just wanna let you guys know, I'm not trying to, I'm simply reporting what's taking place. Even Friday of last week, there was a group of members of Congress that wrote a letter to Nancy Pelosi letting her know that they wanted her to do something in regards to drafting up a stimulus package right away. And if she didn't, they were gonna move on without her and not support her efforts. I wasn't a part of that movement. Also, there's actually a movement right now from a lot of members of Congress, including the Democratic Party, to remove her from her position as Speaker of the House. And in addition to that, we saw 114 members of Congress approach her when she passed the U.S. Postal Bill, urging her to provide standalone provisions to provide stimulus checks or enhanced unemployment. And she declined, saying that it wasn't in her best interest in regards to negotiations. So I'm simply just letting you guys know what's taking place. There is a lot of focus on her right now and a lot of attention and a lot of pressure from her own party to provide something in the form of a stimulus package agreement. So right now, um, there's just a lot of attention on her and we're hoping that she's gonna provide something soon. Now, in addition to the pressure mounting on top of Nancy Pelosi to provide another stimulus package, we also have pressure mounting from the airline industry. As a lot of you recall from my previous videos, I've mentioned that the airline industry was bailed out in the last round of stimulus with a $25 billion bailout contingent upon them not doing mass layoffs and that they could not do this until October 1st of 2020. 
Well, that's just a couple days away, and now the airline industry is back saying they need another bailout of $25 billion because revenue is down by 85%. And if they don't get another bailout on October 1st, 2020, the first day that they were able to do layoffs, they're going to have to do mass layoffs of tens of thousands of employees. And economists are saying this is going to have a trickle down effect and we're going to have layoffs of over 100,000 people. So they need to see a bailout very bad. And we actually have bipartisan agreement on this that we need to bail out the airline industry right away. Now, this is gonna be included in the stimulus package agreement, and Nancy Pelosi is gonna be writing this in. So this is very good because the airline industry is now applying pressure for another stimulus package to roll out, and it will roll out with that bailout along with the provisions that we have all been waiting to see. So we can expect to see this roll out here within the next couple of days this week. All right, so now let's discuss the second way that we will likely see stimulus checks and I'd say this is extremely likely we're probably a 99% chance that we will see this happen if the stimulus package negotiations fall apart we can't come to an agreement that we will see this happen this week now we've heard members of the Trump administration accuse Nancy Pelosi of purposely stalling out stimulus package negotiations and not coming to an agreement in an effort to sabotage and hurt President Donald Trump's chances of being reelected. They believe that a good stimulus package will in turn help the economy, which will then help President Donald Trump's approval rating to get reelected. And they believe that Nancy Pelosi has no intention whatsoever of providing an agreeable stimulus package before elections, hoping that he will not be reelected as president. They believe that even now at this very moment, as Nancy Pelosi is sitting at the negotiating table with Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin, that she is simply doing this to appease the members of Congress from her own party that are not happy with her, but it is not a real effort to come to an agreement. And they believe that when she presents the stimulus package next week, that it will be something that is not agreeable to Republicans. They believe even at this very moment, she has gone from 2.2 up to $2.4 trillion, getting further away from negotiations and what Republicans would like to see. They were expecting her to come down and get closer to have a more agreeable stimulus package, but even now they're saying that she is getting away from something agreeable so that way stimulus package agreements will not be reached. So we will see this week if these accusations against Nancy Pelosi are true or not in the actions that she takes and the stimulus package that she provides and puts forward. Now, let's say that the stimulus package is not agreeable. In fact, the Republicans don't like it and negotiations fall apart. Then I believe we will see the second way that we could see stimulus checks unfold this week and that would be via executive action from President Donald Trump. And he has already threatened to do this. He said that he would like Congress to come together, put together a stimulus package with stimulus checks to provide to the American people. However, if they could not come to an agreement, that he would take matters into his own hands. And there was a rumor that he could do this and he would do just that. And he said that he has found $300 billion of unused funds from the CARES Act that he would reallocate take it and use it to provide stimulus checks to the American people. And just to let you know, this is in fact legal. Congress does have the power of the purse. They have to issue new funds. However, the president can reallocate already issued funds that are unused and use them for a different purpose. And we saw him do this with the LWA program where he took $44 billion from FEMA's disaster relief funds, moved it into the LWA program and provided enhanced unemployment benefits for the tens of millions of people unemployed at this time. Additionally, keep in mind that this is all unfolding right before elections. And the Trump administration and Trump himself have already said that there's nobody that wants to see a stimulus package or stimulus checks in the hands of American people more than President Donald Trump. And we believe this to be true because President Donald Trump is coming up for election and we believe that stimulus checks in the hands of Americans will help his approval rating. He has already said he wants to see a more generous stimulus package. He wants to see stimulus checks, that he has threatened to do executive actions to provide stimulus checks. So if we do not see stimulus checks before the elections, it's gonna make President Donald Trump look like he did not keep his word. And that is the last thing that he wants. So I personally believe that if we do not see a stimulus package agreement passed very soon within this upcoming week, President Donald Trump will step in and do executive actions to provide stimulus checks 
to the American people. So whether or not it's in the form of a stimulus package agreement or in the form of executive actions, I believe we will be seeing stimulus checks here very soon in the upcoming week. We're gonna be finding out how, and it's gonna come in the month of October. Let me know if you agree in the comments down below, and if you agree how you believe we will receive it in the form of a stimulus package or in the form of executive orders. Now, just a quick reminder, as it currently stands, this might change next week, but you can expect to see a stimulus check if you're an individual if you make $75,000 a year or less in the amount of a $1,200 stimulus check. If you make $75,000 and $99,000 a year, you can expect to receive a partial stimulus check. And if you make over $99,000 a year, you do not qualify to receive a stimulus check. If you're a couple filing jointly, you can expect to receive $2,400 in the form of a stimulus check if you make $150,000 a year or less. If you make $150,000 to $198,000 a year, you can expect to receive a partial stimulus check. And if you make $198,000 a year or more, you do not qualify to receive a stimulus check as a married couple filing jointly. Additionally, we do not have confirmation as to how much you will receive for your dependents. Republicans have suggested 500, Democrats have suggested 1,200. If you're on SSI, SSD, DI, Social Security, railroad benefits, any of those, you can expect to receive a stimulus check as well. Also, it looks like wages or stimulus check amounts will be garnished for child support. So if you owe child support, it is likely that your stimulus check will be garnished. And lastly, this is the second stimulus check and it is looking very likely, very possible, according to what we saw with the Problem Solvers Caucus proposal, that there could potentially be a third stimulus check coming in 2021. So I'll keep you guys up to date on that as well. Well, you guys, that is your stimulus check update as of today, Sunday, September the 27th. I hope it was helpful and informative. And if you haven't already, if you do me a quick favor, as I mentioned, it'll just take a second, just ever so gently brush the like button until it it turns blue. I would appreciate it. It'll help out my channel. Thank you so much. And if you'd like to stay up to date on everything that's rolling out, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that way every time I upload videos, you can stay notified. And if you don't already, be sure to follow me on Instagram at steveram3. And if you'd like to be a part of something positive and encouraging, a group of us get together on Thursday evenings and do Bible studies on Facebook at teachjesus.app. Also, if you like some fashionable, modest women's clothing, be sure to check out my wife's website at www.nayaellaboutique.com. Links in the description below. Well, you guys, I hope this reaches you well. I hope it was helpful. Have a blessed weekend. God bless. Take care. This is Steve.